<laughs> do you want to uh, do you want to watch it first before we? Before yeah, we take let's. It? Uh, and that's like something like the Beatles would do, kind of I mean, thing, where they come in and they share a mic, like camera, and everything is great. It was perfect. Yeah, yeah. This this ending shot was the first thing I thought of when it was awesome. We did this video. Fantastic. Cool. All right, guys. Uh, so here with me, I have uh, the very own Alex the Land, uh, one and only. Um, we're here to talk about the Best of Two Worlds music video that just came out uh, not too long ago, a few weeks ago, before Christmas and the holidays. So, uh, yeah, well, first off, we, we actually just rewatched it just to kind of get, refresh our memory a little bit to kind of see, see what we had done. And, um, yeah, I mean, like, obviously, like, we both have our own sort of, like, ways that we came at it and um, where, where things came from. But, like, if you wanted to talk a little bit about, like, what you had in store in terms of what you were envisioning for the video and what you asked me I was mm. looking for. And um, yeah, yeah, some maybe talk a little bit about that. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You came to me. When did we shoot this? This was like. Was it cold outside or was it warm? No, it was, it was like fall? No, so this was, was actually summer? the summertime. This was. Summertime. Um, I remember dates really well, but this was like. I know, it's I know. weird. <laughs> it's. No, no, no. It was. Um, it was like late may early june and i think we ended up filming it mm. just after my birthday it was right after memorial day i'm pretty sure this right, summer right, 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 right. um really warm out you know COVID at, at that time wasn't really uh we were all vaccinated right. it wasn't right. really affecting us in our filming too much mm -hmm. um but it was warm out i remember and i think that um i'd come to you obviously for I want to say that was the first thing I'd come to you for because yeah, was our first video. Um, we ended up doing a couple other videos that you'll see very soon on my channel and, and other places. But this was the first video I was like, Alex, like, if you have some time, yeah. I knew he was home. I was of like, course. we both grew up together in, in a small town outside the city in New York. And um, I was like, you know, was wondering if you'd be interested in making a video. And, and you know, he had shown me and over the past few months, we were talking back and forth on text about you know, potentially doing something. And he had shown me the work that he'd done. I was like, this is awesome. I'd love to work with you. And so um, ended up, you know, figuring it out. And, and we were like, do you want to meet up and just talk about ideas? And so right where we are in my music room right now at home, uh, you can't really see it right now, maybe in some other places, we just kind of brainstormed. But uh, oh, I remember, yeah, I remember this video came out of a specific conversation we had. It did. About the, uh, the writer's process. Yes. Like how... Um, how nebulous it can be and how frustrating it can be to have this feeling of a song but not have it in reality yet. Yeah. And and how sometimes, you know, you're dreaming of, of, of wanting to play it, you know, in front of a crowd and you can see yourself doing the song but you can't yeah. really quite see what words you're saying or what right. the notes are. And I remember that this especially the title best of two worlds is like that's yeah. one world one world is the performance of it right and the other world is the um the writing of it right and i remember we wanted to do a video that helped kind of i uh, kind of juxtapose those two worlds together yeah and that's i think that's where this came from Is that, am i right with that i yeah. no, yeah you are i mean again i've i've told people you know friends of mine and and just people i've reached out to on on online you know on social media who have been interested and i've sent music to that i am definitely a more music first kind of guy and i don't when i write songs i don't um typically get over analyzed with the lyrics and if there is a meaning behind something in the song that uh, i do come across that i i want to connect with the music i i will do it but uh, best of two worlds like that whole chorus kind of just came out of like um you know me kind of being like you know you know whatever i decide to do in my life you know, I'm, it's going to work out and you can't let other people tell you what to do. You have to figure things out on your own. But at the end of the day, um, you know, you're going to be able to do what you love. And also if you, there's going to be things that you don't always like to do and you're going to get the best of both worlds, best of two worlds, um, I guess, by doing that and just following your path um, to an extent and just, yeah. Well, what I, what I love about what you just said is it's, 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 you got to do it on your own, but it's also a thing where, and, and I think this video shows as well, there's a clear moment where we see, you know, these other players join you. Yeah. And there's a feeling of, like, comfort in that. Where totally. It's, it's yeah. the whole music video, you're by yourself, and you're trying to create this thing that you see in your head, but it's not in reality yet. Yeah. And 
it's a really climactic and kind of it's almost a resolution it is a resolution when, yeah when absolutely. you get to the to the premiere spot and your band comes with you and you're yeah. just like jamming together and you see uh the creativity and the the happiness that comes from being with other musicians yes and what and how the music transforms because of other musicians yeah yeah um and that's i think this video yeah it, it shows that kind of thing very well it absolutely does i mean yeah like we were sort of debating like you know even though there is sort of like i mentioned like there is a little bit of an underlying meaning you know regarding just like following your path in life and stuff but like with regards to the video we did kind of come up with this just like you know me writing as you can see in the video like i'm i'm struggling to write the song and it was just really funny you know alex was like hey like uh, wouldn't it be kind of cool? Like he, was, he didn't even like, you know, ask me. He just told me, he's like, hey, like, I want you to write down the lyrics to the song um, and just pretend that you're coming up with the lyrics for the first time and we'll see how it comes out on camera. I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. I guess I guess we'll do that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so well. I did, and it, I mean, it ended up looking awesome because um, no one's literally looking at the video. Like, it's only three seconds past and it's done. You know, I'm looking at it and I'm writing... No, you and, sold it. I mean, if you pause it and look, you know, he's really, he's in it. You know, he's really yeah. writing it for the first time. And I'm, I've got the headphones on, I'm singing, I'm playing the drums. And I don't actually play drums in the song, but I, most of my songs, even though I'm not a professionally trained drummer, I've played on some stuff. I was demoing the drums in the video just to kind of show that throughout all the, the drums and all the arrangements, I really spend time, like, figuring out how it's going to sound so that if I do have a session drummer, a friend of mine, in this case, Hugo plays on it, play on the song like I kind of have an idea in my head how it's going to sound to an extent um and so all that stuff together like showing the process mm -hmm. struggling to write the lyric mm -hmm. part of it and just getting really frustrated and then that piece of paper which I can't really say what it is but uh we'll keep it a secret I really I really do love this also because it, we get to see into your your world you know yeah. I feel like so many artists you know you see the final product but in this you know you actually see the time lapse shot of you going yeah. through the drums and the keyboard and singing mm -hmm. and writing. Yeah. Um and I remember also talking to you about this and we had a conversation about how how important deadlines can be. Exactly. So the, so this idea was like, you know, okay, I have this song that I I I am so close to finishing but I have I have this premiere that I have to get to I know. for the song. Yeah. So I have to get it done. It's, there's no right. world where I don't get it done. So it's it's this funny thing where like you're in the car, like yeah. on the premiere location trying to right. figure it out, and then your buddies come and then you're just kinda like, Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. And that's uh I love that. No, me too. And and originally I was trying to Alex was like, try to see if you can get some friends to come to, to the concert we were staging, this fake concert with a fake band I have. And I was like trying to reach out to people like, hey, like, how's it going? Like some of these people I hadn't even like talked to in a decent bit of time. And I was just like, whoever's in, in town, I was like, hey, come through, come through, would love you to, to come out to this uh, parking lot next to this <laughs> church I grew up uh, right, playing lot. CYO basketball at. And I mean, whatever. And so I just like was seeing if people would be interested, couldn't get enough heads to come. And so we were like, what are we going to do? What do you think we should do? And we both agreed, regardless of if there's an audience or not, a premiere of playing the song with just me, the camera focused on the band and myself yeah. would look just as good and really sell it. And I really do think it did. I don't think people were necessarily like expecting you're not, that. You're not thinking about that. Um, yeah, right. No, no, definitely not. So I, I mean, I'm just so happy with how it turned out. Me and, too. Me too. Yeah. I love the golden hour. The sun looks nice. Yeah. The close-up shots of your guitar is gorgeous. Yeah. Um, and I think we had a lot of fun. Like I really we did. We had a lot of fun, and we got other great stuff coming out. Yeah. Um, and we're working on one tomorrow. So absolutely. Stay tuned for more. But uh, Alex Deland, everybody. Uh, go check out his work. He's an uh, upcoming film director and, and producer and has done some really amazing work. And I'm just so fortunate to be able to work with him. Thank you, buddy. Um, yeah, you, you got it, man. This yeah. has been great. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Can't wait for you guys to check out some more of my music. Go check out my new album, Blue Reverb, if you haven't already. That's where these songs are coming from. Uh, more music coming as well. And so, yeah, thank you so much, guys. And uh, take care. Bye-bye.